assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to see that how can we create a contour map from dem data uh, recently i got a comment that how to upload dem data in arcmap you just simply go to file destination and drag and drop over here so this is the dem data file that we recently downloaded from usgs earth explorer and this is the dem data of srtm mission if you want to know that how to download srtm dem data then just simply click over here from now in future i will make my videos in english because i have received many suggestions so let's start and see how can we create a contour map first of all uh, you have to know that what is contour if elevation data uh, what is the primarily aim of dem data it shows elevations in raster form so elevation data in raster form is known as dem and elevation data in the form of shape file or vector data is known as contour map okay for making a contour map you would have a area of interest like any city or your area of interest in this case it is a prep it is for practice purpose so i just randomly choose my area of interest over here and first of all we will clip this area from the help of clip tool or extract by mask just simply right here extract by mask you can use both of these tools if you want to clip this area of interest from clip management tool then input will be your raster data output will be your shape file and just check over here and assign your destination clipped underscore then dot extension will be tif tif tool is processing and here you get your area of interest here you have a new raster data uh, of your area of interest now we will make contour lines okay for just uh, for making contour map we will use a tool that is called contour just simply go to toolbox special analysis tool and surface contour input will be your clipped raster data assign your destination here okay. extension will be shp because we will got lines contour lines a vector data after the processing of this tool so extension will be in shp here contour interval it's mean that here uh, your lowest elevation in this area of interest is 231 above sea level meter and uh, the highest elevation value is 847 meter above sea level so what will be what interval you want uh, for example i say i want the interval of 50 then next contour line will be in 100 and next will be 150 and next will be 200 so you will make these contour line with the interval of 50 meter so just run the tool and see what we will cut okay okay now just simply label these features and you will get this okay now over here you can see that uh, why we choose the interval of 50 here you can see that the, if this inter this is 300 meter elevation over here in this area then the next interval is 350 and the next interval is 400 and 450 and so on 
the white area is representing the highest elevations and the lowest uh, area and the darkest area is showing the lower elevations so you can make your own interval according to your area of interest so here let's go to properties and uh, go to symbology categories contours okay let's see <clears throat> okay add values here we have the all lines contour lines in different symbols uh, let's okay, okay here uh, we have assigned different symbols to different lines all different lines and uh, here the pink line is showing the elevation of 250 and uh, the green are showing the elevation of 50 500 meters so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 classes okay here we have the attribute table and all these lines are showing their ids and their contours actually are their elevation value and if i click over here then in this area of interest the uh, value of contour line is 600 that's mean that the elevation on this area is 600 meter above sea level so okay now let's add some symbology to our dam data classified and i want 10 classes assign them a uh, color flip it okay flip it because red areas will be shows the higher elevations and okay okay over here you can simply do this by erasing all other values or if you want a quick hack for this then click here format labels and you want only first three values and that's it okay let's do another thing that we know that we have uh, 12 classes of contour lines and uh, we will again go to properties we will do classification and we will keep these classes according to these lines 12 and assign them a color the strip the color because the reddish area will show the highest elevations values and let's classify these interval manually with respect of these lines so just simply go here and 250 and then 300 and then 350 and then 400 and then 450 then 500 550 600 650 and 700 and 750 okay after 750 our next class will show the highest elevation that is 847 uh, in our area of interest and just click okay okay and okay now here the areas that are that are above 751 to 847 are showing with reddish color and uh, the areas that are areas that are below 250 are showing with dark bluish color and those areas who are uh, 251 and in between 300 they are showing the light bluish color so it's quite good as compared to the previous one let's see that how can we see these control lines in uh, google earth pro so just simply go here and okay go here we are to these are shape file and uh, we will convert shape file into kml dem data contour dot the extension of kml file is kmz so dot kmz and save and that's it
okay go to go to location and here we have the file of kml of contours and let's see that how good it will visualize over here Ah, just like this okay over here we have uh, the that train our area of interest and that are showing uh, the contour lines that we create from arc map and now we can visualize uh, these lines on google earth pro and if we click over here 600 then you can see that this is the attribute table that uh, was in arc map field name id name contour yani ke means uh, its elevation over here this particular area is 600 meter above sea level okay let's see that how can we convert this uh, this analysis into a map then we just simply click over here layout and uh, you can change the layer from this tool uh, i want the uh, landscape for let's finish it okay, from this tool you can enlarge the frame and from this tool you can zoom the layer okay and from this you can uh, pan the layer into the layout okay we all knows that uh, a professional and a good map have some element and components like a title a scale bar legends and uh, a northing arrow okay now we will input all these element in this layout so just simply go to insert and uh, north arrow and you can select a wide variety of northing arrow from here and just simply click here okay and you got a northing arrow you can place over here and uh, okay now go to here add a title contour map of area of interest okay you can uh, name you can write the name of your area of interest or a name of city or a name of uh, area that is your area of interest so i will go with the contour map of aio aoi and uh, if you double click over here you can change the symbology you can increase the size and you can do it bold ah uh, large variety of style is present here you can choose yours one i will go with ariel and click apply just like this now go to insert and add legends so if we want to remove a legend just simply click here and this one okay the new shape file means that our uh area of interest boundary and uh, the clip dem will show these values in legends so just next and we don't if you want border borders around your legend then click here if you don't want borders then click here here we got a legend legend so you can write the uh, you can change this name uh, that is not good uh, for a good map so we will change it into elevations uh, in meters if you want to remove it just remove this and you will get this. okay we are changing the name of our boundary of area of interest just like this and now we will add a scale bar that is a necessity that is necessary for all maps you can select yours one from here i will go with this one 
just click it here and if you make a double click over here you can change uh, like i want uh, km instead of kilometer so double click over here km and make it bold from here you can bold these values to click apply and you can see that all these values are get bold okay now let's add a base map on it go to base map add base map okay now decrease the transparency to 60 okay, now we want to uh, add coordinates in our map so we will go here grid and we will go with this one and our next 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 finish okay grid line uh, okay we insert the grid lines and uh, coordinates on its border and we also customize this uh, for example we don't want uh, the grid inside of our map so just simply go to properties and uh, access lines do not show lines and ticks and if we will make it okay this will remove the grids inside of our map and if we want to increase uh, the label of uh, our coordinates uh, the font size of our coordinates then properties go to properties again go to properties and uh, interval labels increase their label to 14 and apply just like this okay here we have uh, we created a map and uh, now we want to export this map so we will go over here export map and uh, contour map area of interest and uh, our uh, the extension type will be jpeg and save it now go to the file destination okay okay the map that we recently import from arcmap will look like this okay friends in this tutorial we have learned many things that uh, how can we create a map and uh, how to customize our map and how can we uh, manually uh, make classification of our dem data and how can we create contoured lines from dem data so i hope that this tutorial will be very helpful for you and uh, see you in the next tutorial okay don't forget to like and subscribe the channel so you will remain update from the upcoming videos many thanks take care allah